Intel's X99 chipset came out in August 2014 as a replacement for X79. It saw the release of two generations of supported chips, Haswell E, those are 5000 series chips, and Broadwell E, 6000 series chips, including the 6800K and up. If you are a creative professional or anyone in need of a high-end desktop not just for gaming, X99 is what you got. Maybe you'd have a Core i7 in there or a Xeon if you're real serious, but what you almost certainly wouldn't use is an AMD platform. They just didn't have any products that could seriously compete with Intel's high-end desktop offerings. So X99 launched pretty much in a vacuum until Ryzen 7 launched earlier this year as sort of a retroactive competitor to Broadwell E on X99. And its performance was very impressive. It even came close to the mainstream flagship, the i7-7700K in gaming. But Broadwell E is now last gen. X299 is Intel's new enthusiast platform, and it poses a fresh challenge to AMD. The first X299 compatible Skylake X and Kaby Lake X processors have launched, but more are on the way, and they're going to make an even better use of the features that X299 offers. So, let's take a look at those features and how they compare to X99. Now, astute viewers will notice this video seems a bit similar to our Z170 versus Z270 video, and that's because it is, but it also isn't. Intel's mainstream Kaby Lake processors are compatible with both Z170 and the new Z270 chipset that launched alongside it. If you wanted full access to all of the new generation's features, you'd have to buy a Z270 motherboard, but you could also plug the new chips into your existing Z170. With X299, there's no backwards compatibility, so if you want to upgrade, you're looking at a new motherboard and processor. All right, without further ado, let's look at the chipsets. First off, X299 uses a new socket, LGA2066, with 55 more pins than the 2011 V3 socket on X99. The mounting points for coolers are the same, however, so you can most likely stick with your old one. Memory specs haven't changed, quad-channel memory is still supported, although not for KB Lake X processors, which we'll get to later. Support for Intel Optane has been added, as well as Intel Rapid Storage technology for PCIe this time, rather than just SATA. X299 brings Intel's high-speed I.O. lanes to their enthusiast platform after it debuted on Z170. This feature basically allows motherboard makers to customize which types of I.O. a certain board will support. Although X299 technically supports up to 8 SATA ports, 10 USB 3 ports, and 14 USB 2 ports, a vendor like Asus might do something like allocate some of those USB 2 lanes toward an additional USB USB 3 or SATA port. X299 also supports up to 24 PCIe 3.0 lanes on the chipset side, up from 8 PCIe 2.0 lanes in X99, but it's the same amount as Z270. These are in addition to the up to 44 PCIe lanes available in Skylake X processors, so full bandwidth for SLI setups and multiple M.2 drives will actually be possible again with certain CPUs which we again will get to later. Now, as is always the case, on top of the bare chipset, you can expect to see a number of additional features added by motherboard makers, such as the ones we see on this, the Asus Prime X299A. It sits around the middle point between affordability and performance. It doesn't have as many bells and whistles as the highest end boards, but it adds some things that you won't find on super budget models. For instance, five-way optimization, which automatically creates overclocking and cooling profiles customized for your specific rig. But there's also tools to fully control cooling and overclocking yourself, if you so choose. You can make use of X299's increased M.2 support with a built-in M.2 heatsink that blends into the armor design very nicely. There's lots of modern connectivity here too, with dedicated headers for water cooling pumps, rear type A and type C ports supporting USB 3.1, and an internal USB 3.1 front panel connector, so your build is ready for cases that support that when they come. And of course, Asus Aura Sync is here, allowing you to sync RGB lighting between the built-in LEDs on the motherboard and other compatible products like GPUs, fans, monitors, keyboards, and mice. When you're shopping for a motherboard, make sure you pay attention to what specific features a certain model has added over the base chipset capabilities. Now, before I end this video, I want to go back for a second and talk about processors. As I mentioned at the start of this video, Intel launched two lines of CPUs with X299, three Skylake X parts and two Kaby Lake X parts. Only the flagship of that bunch, the Core i9-7900X, fully utilizes X299's feature set. The i7-7820X has a higher clock speed, but drops its PCIe lanes to 28. The KB Lake X parts only have 16 lanes and only support dual-channel memory, so with one of those chips, you can only use four out of the eight RAM slots on your motherboard. 
These chips are very similar to the existing Kaby Lake i7-7700K and i5-7600K on Z270, and it's been a little confusing for people to try and figure out why Intel is basically putting what is essentially a mainstream gaming processor on their enthusiast platform. The only real advantage to getting an X299 board paired with a new Kaby Lake X chip is that you have the option to upgrade to a better high core count CPU down the line. Overall, X299 is an excellent successor to X99, and as of this moment right now, Intel has the multi-core performance crown again with the 10-core 7900X, which means right now, if you want the fastest performing enthusiast setup, that's what you need. However, AMD's new Ryzen Threadripper CPUs are coming in early August, led by the 1950X with 16 cores, 32 threads, and 64 PCIe lanes on the X399, platform. Yes, AMD may be on the up and up, but I will never forgive them for their heinous new naming scheme. But Intel will be hot on AMD's heels with their 12-core i9 also coming in August and the 14, 16, and 18-core Skylake X chips launching a few months after that. This is definitely the most exciting the enthusiast desktop CPU market has been for years, so make sure you tell that sentence to your non-techie friends and see what facial expression they make in response. If you, dear viewer, are in the market for new motherboards, processors, anything PC related or electronics in general, click the link in the corner or the description below to shop at ncix.com because we have that stuff for sale. And that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, it's time for me and old Asus Prime X299A here to have our daily, daily cuddle session. It's, it's, it's not weird.